The following trailer is rated H for honest. From the developers of games that are as addictive as street-level heroin, comes the first original IP Blizzard has produced since The Lost Vikings. Seriously. Overwatch. Welcome to the insanely colorful T14 world of Overwatch, where cybernetically enhanced warriors from all over the world gather to fight for peace by running next to carts, standing around in places, and shooting each other with rockets. Yep, really making a difference here. Get ready for the first-person shooter that was already successful before it even came out, and suit up for character-based FPS gameplay the likes of which you've never seen before, unless you've played Team Fortress 2, because it's pretty much that. As Blizzard takes the scraps of their aborted MMO idea, combines them with TF2's gameplay, adds a light dash of MOBA tropes and a handful of waifu bait, and polishes it to their trademark mirror sheen. With gameplay so good, it threatens to crush the genre competition entirely. Huh? Battle what now? Accept the call alongside the eclectic agents of Overwatch. A special team of technologically enhanced superheroes, advanced robotic killing machines, and a monkey once persecuted for the collateral damage caused by their interventions as they return to basically do exactly what they did before in a plot line that's pretty much The Incredibles with a lot more murder. As this mishmash of heroes mixes it up in temples, cafes, movie theaters, movie sets, ancient temples, and Mexican residences, each fighting for their own code of justice to... to... I don't know, they haven't really been clear about that yet, but I'm sure it's a super good reason to shoot people. Experience the depth of Overwatch's fluid character system, where players can switch heroes at will to counter their opponents and unleash deadly synergies with their teammates, but will just pick an attacker and run in separate directions instead as you shoot, blast, push, slice, hook, and freeze your way through the standard FPS modes. Featuring Escort, where you guard an impossibly slow cart, Assault, where you capture or defend a point, and Control, where your team must hold an area and get ulted by Hanzo. Then switch it up with Arcade Mode, where you'll do those same three things with a weekly twist that throws balance out the window, as you fight battle after battle, all to obtain loot boxes full of cosmetics that make you feel like you actually accomplished something, unless you get a bunch of voice packs and you just feel like garbage. Prepare for the plethora of strategies that Overwatch's character diversity provides, as you choose from a variety of real dick moves to perpetrate on your enemies, such as pushing people off the map, hiding turrets next to the payload, reflecting people's ultimates back at them, nasty ability combos, resurrecting your whole team, and the worst of all, picking Bastion. You can eat a bag of dicks, Bastion. So slide in to your skin-tight leggings, grab those future guns, and get ready for the role-based shooter that'll have you suddenly realizing that it's 4 a.m. and you were supposed to be at work 20 hours ago. Ah, f*** it. One more match. Starring Edgelord, Robo Dead Redemption, Gundam Wing, just like one of my Japanese animes, Booty had me like Cod Blobs. Get good. Ryuke Waga take go f yourself. Crocodile done messed up. Boo Barry. Tim the Turd Man Taylor. Shelmetra. I must break you. The Iron Giant. Birdie. Dr. Zayas. Twitch Streamer. Drops the Beats by Dre. The Medic. Android Krillin. And May is Bay. Bend over, watch. I swear, if I have to watch one more play of the game with Bastion or Torbjorn hammering a turret, I'm gonna go ape shit. No, I don't mean picking Winston. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Game Trailers, and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. Golfing is only fun because I get to put my balls in holes. With great power comes great peanut butter and jelly. How will I ever be a hero? I know, I just gotta believe. These toys are too much for you. I demand you return them to their proper shelves. Cheers, love. The Calvary's here.